Hello guys and girls. Today we're going to be taking a look at a compound microscope that you will have the ability to use in your science classes and your science labs. Uh, this is a three lens compound microscope. It is three lenses with different powers on a rotating wheel. Okay, At certain angles you can actually see that it shows the magnifying power of these lenses. Red being the least magnified four times magnification. The yellow being what we would call medium, I guess, at ten times magnification. And the blue most powerful at 40 times magnification. So, the bigger you want to make your image, the higher power lens you would use. Um, depending on the scenario, we would have purposes of using a less magnified lens, and in some cases we would want to use a more magnified lens. Okay. Uh, this is your eyepiece up at the top. That's what you are able to see through. I'm trying to get the line on here. So you'd be able to get your eye right up to that lens and see right through it. But of course, my light is reflecting. But anyways, that's the eyepiece. The eyepiece also magnifies another 10 times. So we get uh, extra magnification from the eyepiece. Okay. Down here are going to be our adjuster wheels to allow us to focus our image. The bigger wheel moves our slide table more. You see that I can actually see the slide table moving a lot with the course adjustment. So usually that is the wheel we start with to try to get our image slightly in focus. To really sharpen our focus we would use the fine adjustment wheel. All right. As I turn that you actually cannot with your eyes actually see the table move but it is moving very very slight okay there is a light on the microscope down below you can see that that's shining and on the back of the microscope there is a switch for on and off of course for the sake of reusing these when we are done that's something we have to make sure we turn off and that the light is no longer lit to save batteries we typically will have a specimen or a sample in a slide like this. It's a glass uh, slide with, um, in this case, frog blood on it. Okay, there's a slide cover protecting the and pinching the frog blood in between two surfaces. And that would go on the slide table. And we also have slide clips that we can put the slide underneath to hold it in place so that it doesn't move around. At that point, there is a small eye opening there. I can turn my light back on. You can see that that lit up. And we want to get it nice and centered in the middle. At that point, I always start with the red four times magnification lens so that we can see that our image is centered in the lens and uh, once we get a good view of that we can up the ante a little bit with a more powerful lens and get a good view at what we are looking at okay um, one thing one very important thing especially with our blue lens you see that's a longer lens and it gets very close to the slide. And if we're using the course adjustment, you can actually press that lens down into your sample. Okay? In some cases, we may be putting items underneath this, like a petri dish, and you certainly do not want to run your lens right into your sample. It can make the lens filthy, and uh, it would take a good amount of cleaning in order to get any sort of view on there ever again. So that's something we gotta watch closely. Typically with the red lens, we don't have to worry about that as much. The red lens is shorter and does not come as close to the specimen. 
So we have to pay attention to that. Okay. And that is, again, the compound microscope that we'll be using here in class. Um, treat them with care. They are very pricey. And... Um,